So I normally, I hate to rant uh, in videos. I think it's kind of corny just to like rant to rant, but in this video specifically, I'm going to rant about this. And then so what caught my eye initially about Microsoft BitNet is I have kind of two camps of people in my social network. I have developers and influencers, like high and like AI developers. And then the camps around this specific release, this Microsoft BitNet release, uh, caught my eye because they're really torn, right? So all day, like all morning, like the very first thing I do, I wake up and it's uh, all of these influencers are like, uh, Microsoft BitNet release, check it out. Like it's, you know, this is amazing, like one bit quantization, 1.58 bit quantization, right? Blah, blah, blah. And here's all the features of it. Uh, and then I look at what developers are saying about it and they're saying like it's it's garbage it's awful like actually try to use it this is uh, like linkedin bait <laughs> this is media bait <laughs> etc right and then so uh i normally don't see quite that divide when it comes to these releases i often see a divide but not like this and then so it caught my eye and then so i decided to dive into this and and install this and test it and I understand 100% why all developers hate this now, <laughs> like 1 million percent. Like, uh, if you're a developer, like I understand this is, this is a hot garbage release. And that's where I want to kind of rant on this, right? And that's where I'm going to rant on this. So the best thing that I can say about this is, and, and what I can say about this is that this is a product that is going to work well in a year or two and then like that's the best that i can say right and i can't guarantee you that it's going to work well in a year or two like uh 80 it's going to work well in a year or two but i could be completely wrong with that projection too right <laughs> and like like so right now the bottom line is is like right now this is not a working product on any level shape or form which is why they've released it right they released a completely open source because they need people to fix it like that's what the goal of this is that's what the ultimate goal of this release is plain and simple if you're a developer and you go through and you actually know what you're doing with this it's fix our problems and this has a very glaring problem and i'll point it out to you immediately the problem is so first of all this is all in c plus plus so you have to go through and uh whatever you have to do for c plus plus you're going to go through and install and then do all of that right and then, so you do all this in developer and powershell i've given you everything that you need here in this notebook uh, to go through these steps. But the bottom line is, is so when you get down to the step of using utilizing this 1.58 bit quantized model, you have to install and, and download a 1.58 uh, 1.58 bit quantized model, right? And then so the problem is, is that there's only three models in existence, period, that meet this requirement. Two of them are the Microsoft models themselves, which I don't know anything about the BitNet models that are very small. Uh, and then the third is a Llama B model, a Llama 8, 8, uh, 8B model. Uh, and then so I went to install the 8B model, the Llama 8B model. I'm running a like high-end consumer hardware laptop, right? I just recently paid $1,000 for it. It'd be equivalent to like an Apple M2 uh, in terms of performance. Uh, NVIDIA 4060, uh, at least 16 gigs of RAM, if not 32, et cetera, et cetera, right? <laughs> and so uh, I go through and I run into memory issues installing uh, this because the problem that you run into is that you need to uh, install the full Llama model before it quantizes, right? And then so to me, like that alone makes this such a gimmick release that it isn't even funny right because so this is uh, like the whole point of this is that you can run it on a cell phone or on just cpu etc and you can do that right like you can get to the point of that but your computer has whatever you're installing it on has to be capable of actually installing a full 8 bit uh, uh, 8 billion parameter llama model which uh is not just CPU, like, and and is uh, more than uh, any general consumer hardware can handle. Like even top of the line consumer hardware can handle. So it's really gimmicky 
to say that it can run ultimately on a cell phone what when you have to go through the step of essentially <laughs> training it on something that's 16x bigger than what it would be uh, and they don't outline those things right uh, and then also too when you go through so the installation I'll save you a lot of uh, headaches within the installation that I had to go through so you need Visual Studio 2022 bottom line right like you need this installed and then even if so if you already have a Visual, 20, Visual Studio 2022 installed, do not skip this step because you need these packages. You need uh, CMake uh, tools for Windows, you need Git for Windows, C++ Clang compiler for Windows, and MS build support for LLVM toolset Clang specifically. Um, so these ones right here, if you don't have these installed, you're going to get errors <laughs> no matter what, right? Uh, and then also just highlighting again, this is all C++ code. Um, and then so generally speaking, like I, I generally, uh, you'll see most of what I run in Python. This is C++. Uh, and then so uh, we would just run here. Uh, I've converted to Python uh, some of this here. Uh, and then uh, this is from the BitNet repository, right? The Microsoft BitNet repository. And then uh, what I've done specifically is just uh, gotten this and then taken everything that they've given you outlined here. I took the this model here, this Llama 3B uh, model. This is the model that I want to use. And took all of their instructions, all of their installation instructions. You can see I'm just following their instructions here, right? Clone the repo, build the project, et cetera. And then uh, that's what I've just outlined here for you. Uh, and then it's very straightforward to do these steps as long as you have all of the requirements installed and you have sufficient hardware to actually get past this step of downloading and quantizing the Llama model. So again, like you have to download, then quantize, right? So it's step one, step two. Uh, and then there is a way around this. So what you could do and what I could include in this is you could um, quantize down to 32 bits and then quantize down to the 1.58 bits from there or quantize down to 60 bits and then quantize down to 1.58 bits from there. But so this leads me to the last thing, which is if you actually use this model like like actually get it to the point and i've done it like on uh, there's a it's available on a hugging face things like that uh here's all the steps to, to install it i've done it for you and tested it for you so you don't have to <laughs> if you want to you'll go through you'll find the same thing this model is hot garbage like it's not usable once you get past all these steps uh it doesn't like it the the outputs are are, are bad like, like just flat out, right? There, there's uh, no world in which you would say like these are actually good outputs. I would actually use this model. Like no person on the planet is going to say that that uses this, right? So at that point, I understand all of the criticism about this. It's all just hype, right? Like it's like 100% that's like Microsoft is releasing this and then it's all people are gonna talk about is they've released that you can now run models on your cell phone and that's what everyone is going to run with, but uh, you like we're not there, <laughs> and this is flawed. And Microsoft has released it because obviously Microsoft can't get past the flaws. So are we going to get past the flaws? I don't know, <laughs> but it's hype to uh, very hype to hype this up at this point because this in and of itself, what Microsoft has released, Microsoft Bitnet in and of itself is not a product like this is not good and like i mean i'm going against the grain here i guarantee you, like like you're gonna see a whole slew of videos like microsoft bitnet right it's the greatest thing ever people are hyping this up just use it <laughs> literally go through here it is right it's uh clone the clone the repository uh create the environment and then run inference that's it as long as you have i mean it, 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 this right this is like and i i can't highlight enough because if you have to go through these steps it's going to take you some time to, to go through this right but this and then make sure it doesn't crash here so, but it's three steps and then that's it um, and then so you can see all of this yourself and prove all of it out yourself uh, and yeah just I mean thank you Microsoft like I, I think like not knocking it uh, and I, like uh, I do blame Microsoft overall for these types of things. I'm in the same camp as um, Mark Benioff, right? Like Mark Benioff uh, specifically recently called out Microsoft specifically, like for Copilot, things like that. And, I, and like this seems to be following a pattern 
that Microsoft seems to be following, which is releasing these products that are not ready for prime time. Like they're just not. <laughs> and then like it contribute. like I'm, I'm so tired of it at this point. Right. Um, at this point, like I'm uh, like, I don't talk, I don't hype up any of these releases. I, I very rarely, like if I'm talking about a release at this point, you can see it's, it's, it's because it's related to um, either like the attention mechanism directly uh, or word vectorization specifically. Uh, and it's like something major within that. And like, I mean, all my videos look at them. That's all I, is it anything else? It's hype at this point, right? Uh, and then you go through uh, and it's just, I don't know. We need to get away from the hype. Uh, people are sick of it uh, and it's not working. And it's going to be the opposite of what people want. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.